Hi Emily, I was just wondering if we can have a quick chat about QTAC preferences. Hey Vid, yeah, no worries. So QTAC do allow you to list six preferences. So how did you go about listing your six preferences? They suggest that you list your preferences in order from most preferred as number one to least preferred as number six. Okay. And that's what I did. So I put the courses I most wanted to get into up the top and then you sort of step down to number six. Um, so one and two are like your dream courses. Yeah, And exactly. that's what you'd list as. So how about for preferences three and four? Would they be like your backup options? Sort of. Three and four are more your realistic course options. Okay. So you list courses that you are still interested in and could possibly be related to your dream courses, okay. but they're ones that you know you are more likely to get into and you're pretty confident in getting into. Okay, so for example, if you wanted to get into law, but not really sure if you're going to get in, what would your backup options be? So you could pick something that's in the same field as law, for okay. example, a business degree, and you may start studying business and love it, or you could use that degree to bridge your way into law um, on an alternate pathway so once you're in university. So take it as a pathway into, Definitely. Uh, into law, so that's what you want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Emily, now that we listed preferences one to four, how would you go about listing preferences five and six? So preferences five and six are fallback options. Okay. They're ones that you know you can get into and they're last resorts if one to four don't go according to plan. They're courses that you can still see yourself studying and they should provide an upgrading pathway option. Okay, so like to put your foot in the door. Definitely. And an example of this is a Diploma of Higher Education, which is a course that requires no prerequisites and you can get straight into that from school and it can provide pathways into different courses in uni in the future. So Emily, for a quick recap, um, preferences one and two would be your dream courses. Yeah. Three and four would be? The more realistic options. So the ones that you're still interested in but you are more guaranteed entry into. Okay, and then five and six are more like your fallback options. Yeah, so just getting a foot in the door, getting into university. If people are still unsure about listing their preferences one to six, what could they do about it? They can always contact JCU or look at the website jcu.edu.au.